All right, let's take a look outside, Nicole. So what we just saw and what's going on on I-10 here, this is the problem. Okay, there it is. I-10 at Yarborough, we just got a call in in the newsroom. You can see him there. It's a guy who's been running around on I-10 already breaking the law there. Police are just now on scene, but vehicles still moving by. That's the problem. Uh, not exactly sure what's happening with this. Uh, basically, the past few minutes this has all been developing. So what we're looking at here, I do see at least one police officer. There's another one coming this direction. More than likely, what I'm expecting here is this is going to shut down I-10 for a little bit. Uh, this is at Yarborough, as you can see there. So we're going to be dealing with this for a little while. Let me step out of the way here. I wonder if we can take the, uh, the full screen camera get a better shot there we go you can see him just kind of waving his arms there running around people literally driving by him right now at this point so not really sure the plan here uh, basically I I'm also not sure if this is eastbound or westbound at this point again we got the call about 30 seconds before uh, 509 here so essentially yeah, now they're shutting it down. They're, they're going to shut traffic down at this point. Uh, the good news is it doesn't look like they're going to have uh, access from Gateway onto I-10 here. Yeah, this is all coming in uh, it, just in the last couple of minutes. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this this early. Uh, somebody just basically taking it upon themselves to shut down uh, the interstate. So now police are coming in. Yeah, we're going to stick with this for a little bit. Th this is... Certainly out of the ordinary. All right, so police now, looks like he's waving his shirt around at this point as well. All right, so as police approach, you can see him right here. All right, the confrontation's starting to happen. Just going to keep an eye on it. No, oh, looks like police able to get him into... Uh, get him into custody. Right now, the only way around this would be Gateway, which, again, with I-10, you will always have that option. Looks like they're putting the man in custody right now. Cuffs are on. And hopefully, within the next few minutes, they're able to handle this situation. But uh, again, I've, ne I've never seen anything quite like this, folks. Uh, early on in the morning, somebody getting arrested here on live TV after shutting down part of the interstate. So it looks like the police officer are able to get the handcuffs on, de-escalate the situation. Uh, right now, you can see the backup. Looks like they're diverting everybody onto Gateway already. So that, uh, TxDOT handling this, police handling this situation. Hopefully this is the last uh, of this and it will only take a few more minutes from now before they can get things back to normal. But uh, what, just a very random situation here um, to start off our Wednesday. So be aware of this. We're going to keep our eye on it for you. We'll get another look outside and we'll have much more news. It's all after the break.